Hi everyone! So in this video I took out my Oster AX8560 out for a little adventure and since RCAWD were so generous to send me parts for the TRX4M I would try to fit them on there and let's see by how much it is actually possible and what the gains are. Have fun! So let's check out what RCAWD have sent me. So we have some shocks in here and the flex plates which I will not be able to review since I don't a TRX4M which they are designed for. But the shocks would definitely fit. RCAWD also sends you a set of springs which are interchangeable with different sorts of stiffness. In this way you can try and see which suits best for your needs. And with every package you get stickers and I love them, I put them everywhere, not only on the cars. Now let's have a look at the Porto Axles. They look so good and so well machined, I like the colors on them and of course they're a good way to get more ground clearance. This set already comes with a servo pre-installed, that's quite nice. So this was the front axle, now let's have a look at the rear axle. So beautiful. And this set also comes with the fitting shafts for them. Now looking at my crawler we will try and simulate where everything is supposed to go later. So this is the front shaft, then the rear shaft, and front axle, and rear axle. And this is the whole set. Now it's showcased here together with the cyber wheels from RCA WD. I will put a link for everything in the description as well for the car. Alright, now let's get to work. Make sure you don't need the cables when you take off the hood. So, and while I'm working I will disconnect all the electronics. Um, so I won't have any cables in between when I'm working. Alright, all done. And for years now, every time I'm working on my crawlers, I'm using the wow stick and this magnetic pad, which will help me not to lose my screws. It's kind of neat. This is how it works. See, that's kind of cool. They're not so easy to lose now. Every time I'm working on the RCs and take them apart, I will try to kind of organize the screws so later on I will make sure that I can put everything back together the way it was. So first I will take off the shocks and then the rest. Now to the shaft. And of course I will want to use the new shocks but I want them to be a bit stiffer so I will quickly show you how to exchange those springs on your shock. So you pull back the springs, take that off, take out the springs, put the new ones in and it is that easy. And there you go, all set. So front is looking good already and can't wait to test it. I did have my trouble with the rear axle though, the shaft would wobble and the axle is kind of tilted. I tried to rearrange the shocks so it would fit but it's not a good experience. Since it's not designed for this car, it's only designed for the Traxxas TRX4M, I will only go with the front axle but this at least fits 100%. Let's go. And on. Well, it looks so cool when it's finally outside in the real world. Well, I will just put some music on and you enjoy this video.
By the way, I'm not a pro when it comes to scale RC crawling. RCAWD sending me this material gives me the opportunity to show it to you from the beginner's point of view. And I must say it's not that hard to install. It takes some time, of course, but it's a great addition to this crawler. And if you own a TRX4M or this Auster AX8560, it's great. Just remember though, only the front axle works on this car. If you want the whole set, go for Traxxas. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And thank you for watching.